So this month I was pleasantly surprised at finding a few products that help to boost what I already have. And I'm going to share with you what I mean by that. But we have a bunch of really great beauty and fashion to get through today. I hope that you stay tuned. We're going to get into that video right now. All right. Almost as always, I go into what I have on. And right now I'm going to do that because I have a really easy to wear long sleeve t-shirt that is just a little bit dressy on today. I love this ribbed knit lightweight long sleeve t-shirt because it is a little bit more lightweight, which means that you can layer it if you want to. It also has the lace on it with the button accent. I really like that a lot. This is pretty true to size. I got it in a large, so it's a little bit loose on me. I normally wear a medium, so go true to size on it. It is very, very stretchy, so I'm loving that. I also have these cute drop earrings that I have on a circle necklace that I have on. I have some new rings on that you might notice during the video today and my fingernails. I will make sure all of that, including what I'm wearing on my face for makeup is linked and listed below along with all of these yummy products that I am talking about today. All right, let's get started. When I talk about what I'm using to boost the efficiency of other products, I'm first talking about do you use one of these? This is an LED red light therapy. Let's turn it right up. At red light therapy mask, I have one of these for my face and then I have the other one for my neck. Now this particular mask was gifted to me. I'll make sure that I link this down below, but I'll make sure I link a more cost effective one too because this one was quite a bit. That's why I've actually never brought it to you before. I've been using this for over a year and I do love LED. I love what it's done for my skin. I feel like it helps to brighten and really help build that collagen back. It's one of the best modalities for devices that you can use at home. But don't we all want to get the very best out of these that we possibly can? So I'm not necessarily telling you that this is the best mask I've ever used because it's really like only one of two that I've ever used. But I want to tell you what you can use in conjunction with the one that you may have at home already because it actually boosts the effectiveness of this. And that is this right here. I've talked about this before on my channel, but I want to talk about it again because I've been religious in using this for the past two months and I really do feel like it's helping to up my game as far as my LED mask is. Benton Deep Green Toner, Deep Green Tea Toner. This is a watery product. You put it on your face, you let it sit for five minutes up to 20 minutes if you, can, if you have that kind of time. Usually I don't. I usually let it sit for five minutes until it's dried down. And then I go ahead and use my mask on there. Now, why do I wanna do that? Because the green tea has been proven, and I will try to remember to link a video of Penny from Penn Smith Skincare's vi video about this, all about the proof that this boosts the effectiveness of LED, like by 20 times or something like that. It's an, it's an amazing amount that it boosts the effectiveness of it. So you're getting all of the collagen benefits, the anti-wrinkle, the brightness, the elasticity, all of those things you're getting, but you're getting them boosted so much more by just using a very inexpensive product like this. That's product number one that I feel like does that. Now, do you have one of these devices? This is my new face, and this right here is that device that you probably have seen on social media. It has green, red, and blue light therapy. It also massages. I can list and link both of these below what I'm talking about, but again, it's not necessarily about these but if you have either one of these and you're using either one of these you've probably known that you need to use some sort of a conductive gel I have two that I'm using that I'm showing you today this right here is called absonic and it is for it's a conductive gel it's pretty inexpensive, it comes in a, du a duo bottle or two bottles, so you have that. And if you're using something like this, you just put a little bit right there on the product, on the device itself, and you go ahead and you use your device in conjunction with it. If you're using something like the New Face Microcurrent, you're gonna wanna put this on your face and then use your microcurrent, if you're using any microcurrent at all. I do love this, I use it because it's very inexpensive, but I'll tell you what, that you can use if you wanna go with a more natural product that's going to give you hydration and healing benefits. It's this 99% aloe 
gel that I get. I get this in a two pack as well. Hopefully that is still available. If not, I'll put whatever's available linked and listed for you. And again, you're going to get the benefits of having conductive gel, but you're also getting the benefits of the hydration and the healing gel. So if you have sensitive skin, if you have skin that is easily irritated, I get times when I've overused my Retin-A or my actives and I reach for the aloe throughout that week when I'm doing any sort of my devices like this. Really, really good to be able to use aloe vera and I wanted to show you both of these if you're using a device like this one. Another little tool, and I know I brought this to you, but I wanted to bring it to you in the monthly favorites because I cannot believe how many little hairs I have all over my head coming up so quickly. I attribute that to a couple of things. I did a hair video, which I will link for you down below so that you can see all of the things I do for hair growth. But this baby, this little stimulating tool for your scalp has been completely invaluable to me. I've tried to get my mom on this and I've tried to get my sister on this, but I cannot believe how much this has helped the hair regrowth on my scalp. The other thing it does is again, circulating that blood. It's got a little bit of red light therapy right here. So you're getting that right onto your scalp, which is great for regrowing hair as well and keeping hair healthy and strong because we bring that blood up to that follicle. And once that hair leaves the follicle and goes out, it's basically dead hair after that. So strengthen it while you can. And this is really good. It takes about 10 minutes. Its whole cycle is about 10 minutes. It does do this rubbing action with its little claw grips right there. And then you can also do massage on it by pushing another button. I do all of it and it just is so relaxing and I feel so good right before I go to bed. And lots of times I won't realize how tender my scalp is. And I don't know if any of you have that problem or not, but I really have been noticing lately that I've been keeping a lot of tension in my neck and over my scalp or over my head. So really helps release all that tension also, if you have really bad headaches, it helps with that too. But this has been just a lifesaver for me. And this is not an expensive tool to get or device to get. This is actually quite inexpensive in my opinion. Now, I've been packing around this adorable little envelope purse that's a crossbody. Its little handle can go all the way up to make it a crossbody, or you can do it over your shoulder if you want to. I've been packing this around for the past three weeks since I got it. And everywhere I go, I get compliments on this. It's a small enough purse that it doesn't hurt my shoulders. I can't pack around a super heavy purse anymore very much. I mean, I do, but I try to really stay to these smaller ones. It has these cute little gold accents. Even the chain that is on the top, it's kind of a leather braid with the chain in there. Just a cute, cute accent. And then it's the envelope purse that I think is really quite roomy for a purse its size. It has three pockets, so you have one on one side and then the other, and then you have the middle one. I love this thing. And I, like I said, I've been getting compliments on it like crazy. I like having a purse that has the clasp on it that you have to do up to keep it closed because that means that I'm not gonna be negligent and leave my purse sitting open when I'm somewhere and you know people can see down in it. I love this, comes in a bunch of colors and lots of people are liking it as well. Another thing in fashion that I am loving is the leggings that I'm wearing. I have been living in these leggings for about a year for two reasons. Number one, when I had my blood clot that you all may or may not know about. I have a portal portal vein blood clot that I talked about on my channel. The leggings that I was wearing were coming up to here and they were compression leggings because of my other surgery. And I was wanting to wear those because I needed to wear something that was compression, right? Well, those were just too much. They were too much compression around that vein, gave me lots of pain because they were really squeezing me tight. So had to find something else and I found these. And yes, I have, several pairs of them. These are some leggings that are just so soft and buttery and they feel so good on your skin. Now these are a spandex material, so they are very, very stretchy. They do have a little bit still of the tummy control on there. So you're not completely getting away with that, but they've got the cute seams on them too. So these seams that cut your leg or cut your bum partly, they are, not that they, 
you know, dig, but that they cut the look of them, they will make you look thinner. And that's one thing that I love about them. I also love that you're still getting these pockets on the side that you can put your cell phone into, your ATM card or, you know, small wallet into when you're shopping. In the front on the waistband, you do have a little pocket in there for cash that you might not want to know somebody ha has or your car keys to go in there. So that is there too. I like very much how these hold me in without being uncomfortable. I'm 5'7 and I choose to wear a medium. I can get away with a large. If I wanna be super comfortable, I'd rather wear a large, but the medium seems to hold me in still, give me that little bit of tummy control without you know cinching and hurting, but they're so buttery and so soft and I've been loving these. So they come in a ton of colors. Besides the colors that I'm gonna show you, there are more. So this is gray, and then this is a rosy pink color. This is purple, there is a burgundy red, this is a navy, and then there is the black ones. And I think they come in like brown and camo and a couple other prints. So these have been great for me. I've been absolutely loving them. And I stocked up because I wanted to have a pair clean for every single day instead of having to wear jeans. I still wear jeans. I still, you know, wear regular pants and everything. But when I'm home, I'm living in these leggings and loving every minute of it. Skincare this month overtook me. I am trying so much skincare. This month for me is the Kosar X. This is the six peptide skin booster. This has adenosine and niacinamide and a bunch of stuff in it that are that's just fantastic. It, the different peptides in here, one of them is a copper peptide. And the reason that they found that copper peptides are so effective is because they can penetrate and they not only penetrate deeply, but they also boost not only collagen, which is what peptides do, but they boost elasticity which is just fantastic. We want that elasticity so that our skin can hold up as we as we age. So the fact that this has six different of them in there, it has the adenosine, which itself has been known to be an antioxidant, which helps to repair and help with elasticity and collagen building. This is just so great. I really love this and have been using it for a couple months now and can highly recommend it over those super high priced copper peptides that I was buying before. I think this is just so, so good. And then I also wanted to recommend to you from this month, the Panorama, L'Oreal Panorama Mascara. It's what I have on today. And boy, I feel like this just really lengthens, but it also builds what sparse lashes I have. I have and I talk about this all the time. I have long lashes, but I don't have very thick lashes. So this catches every single lash and I still can separate those lashes, but I can build the length. So I get that dramatic length that makes my lashes look good, but I also get the volume I want out of this tube because it just grabs all the lashes. This is just kind of a tapered wand there. It's interesting in how that it's tapered. It's kind of bowed in a little bit. I don't know how else to explain it. it. Has the barbs towards the end of it, but not around the end of it. So when you catch those bottom lashes, you're really catching them with a lot of product, which is really good as well. It's very black. It doesn't seem to flake or smudge or anything on me. As a matter of fact, I've been really impressed that by the end of the day, whether I've napped, whether I feel like I've rubbed my eyes because of allergies, whatever, I feel like at the end of the day, I am taking this mascara off with my cleansing oil or my cleansing balm, which is something because lots of times, you know, you get a mascara, it'll flake during the day or you feel like you don't have any on by the end of the day, you're gonna have this mascara on at the end of the day but it's not a waterproof mascara. I didn't get the waterproof formula. I bought this before the waterproof formula came out. I don't know whether it's even out yet or not, but this is really good. I also got want to tell you that I got the one size pink powder and the jury is a little bit out on this still, a little bit. I mean, I'm really liking it a lot, I have to say, but I wanted to find a really good dupe for you because I felt like this was really expensive. But now that I've used it and I see how much is in here, there's a fair amount in here. I've been enjoying it. I feel like every time I put it on, it's brightening, it's perfecting. I try to stay in just the spots where I know that I need it the most. So I don't try to put so much on that I'm going to look dry by the end of the day. 
but it really does blur out these marionette lines and takes care of setting a little bit right here in the corner of my eyes where I get so um, that hollow look, you know, in that corner right there. I get that really bad. So it really does help that. And I feel like it blurs out the pores. So a little bit goes a long way. And I am going to continue to try and find a dupe for you. But so far I've tried three different ones and I don't, I'm not as impressed as with them as I am with this one. This has just got enough of that pink brightness that I feel like it checks a box that no other powder that I've used has. This is a really, really good one and I'm glad that I picked it up. As we're talking about things that make your other products work better, I wanted to share with you my number one bestseller last year of products that weren't makeup and weren't fashion. And that was this makeup brush cleaner from Cinema Secrets. And it's this big, huge tub of it right here that I have talked about before. And I've demoed this before. This is a little just tin that I bought when I very first bought the first one I was going to try. It was like 16 ounces or eight ounces that came with this one. It was just a trial thing. So you put your liquid down in there. Hopefully you can see that. But look how dirty this brush is. Can you see how dirty my blush brush is? And yes, I will link and list where this brush is from. It's quite expensive, as I know many of you have asked me before. Um, but this is my ride or die blush brush. So down in it goes. We're just going to barely dip it, right? And it will suck up that liquid really fast. So we're just going to barely dip it just a little bit. And it's going to go on to the end. And here is my towel. And I'm just going to start to brush off that liquid. Now you don't have to rinse this afterwards. You don't have to do anything. It's getting quite a bit off, but I'm going to need to dip, dump, dunk it a little bit more. Getting quite a bit off. I usually do this with a towel. So I'm hoping that this will, this demo will work every bit as good as when I do it with an actual towel. It might not come as clean. It's coming pretty clean. Look at all this gunk that was on there. Coming pretty darn clean. So I'm going to just wipe that a little bit more because it's still pretty wet. And look, look how clean that is compared to where it was before. It is just the best to clean any brushes with. I have... I know I have over a hundred brushes and I hate cleaning my brushes, but this makes it so fast to be able to clean your brushes and you don't have to do anything except for let them air dry. And then, you know, you'd be able to use them immediately. This has a really strong odor. You can tell that it's definitely a cleaner. Um, it's not a fragrance. It's just a strong odor of cleaner. And so I wanted to share that with you because I love the way that this works. It works so fast. I can do my 100 plus brushes in under an hour. Yes, it's a chore, but at least I do it because of how easy this is. Very rarely do I ever use any sort of a brush shampoo or anything. It's usually just this to get everything clean. So I wanted to make sure that I brought that to you as well. All right, so that wraps up everything I wanted to bring you for the month of January that I've been loving, using over and over again, reaching for over and over again. I know that there's things out there that you've been reaching for that you have acquired recently that you need to tell me about. I guess you guys always tell me about the best things. So make sure that you tell me down in the comment section what you're enjoying right now. I would love to hear that from you. Thanks so much for being with me today. Come back around very soon in my next video. I love you so much. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye, my friends.